This is the Google Lantern. So, arriving in in very small amounts of packaging, this is the Gogo Lantern. It is essentially a solar powered bucket. Yeah, okay. So, it comes in a tote bag, as you can well see by using your eyes. Uh, the solar LED bucket light. Uh, there is eight LED lights. Six to eight hours of charging time, six to eight hours of light. I'm guess I'm guessing that's through solar charging. Uh, lumen uh, 120 lumens LED, two liter bucket, and it's magnetic. Not magnetic. Okay. All right. Uh, nothing on the back. So digging inside, uh, we have a lanyard of some description. A charger cable with a very fine charge point on the top. Actually, it looks a bit bent. It is. Maybe that happened in, in transit because it's not in a box. And then the lantern itself, which is just plastic and what feels like latex. If you can hear that fidgy widgeying about. Uh, there's a plastic handle on the top for carrying it if you've got it full of frogs or whatever you happen to have and in there uh, water hopefully or ice with a beer in it oh my god this is amazing right okay um, and then down the bottom we have a large solar cell and what looks like a power button here and inside we've got this kind of setup. There's, what did it say, eight? Eight LED lights in there and it's waterproof and magnetic. So maybe these are magnets here. That would make sense. Uh, so you can stick it to something like that or on top of something so it doesn't slide off. You certainly couldn't put it upside down with stuff inside, it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, but, so not, uh -huh. you can pull this out. Right, okay. So then around here we have a, a power point for charging. That's a connector for it to hook into the lantern. And that's about it. Ah! Aha, aha, the more astute of you will notice that this goes in here. Hey, and you can wear it as a rather funky medallion to pull some chicks down the disco. That's um, big, but it might be useful if someone gets lost in the snow or um, in the dark. So there's a big power button here from the looks of things. If we hold this. It turns on. Brilliant. Press it again, it gets even brighter. Press it again, it flashes. Press it again, it's done. Ah. There's, there's another power button around here. Does it do the same thing? It does. Press it again, press it again, and it's off. Very handy. So you can use it as a emergency flashlight or whatever. Okay, right. So uh, the the big question is, oh, I see. There's a bit of perspex here as well uh, to protect the LEDs from whatever you happen to be putting in there. I suppose there's a chance that if you're filling this full of water or something, if a child's playing with it at night, uh, they they might dump some stones in there, and that would destroy the LEDs quite quickly. So uh, we'll turn her on. Not how to charge, is it? Ah, no. So that's at half brightness. We'll turn off our studio lights. And it's very pretty. We should um, maybe s sing some camp songs or something like that. If we le reach in here. Oh no, we can't do that because there's perspex. Uh, 
we tap that again, it gets even brighter, and it looks pretty useful. And then we tap it again, wherever it is, there, don't we? And we get a flashing light. That flashes in. Oh, it's flashing SOS. So that's dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dash, 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 dot, 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 which is not SOS, it's, yes, my uh, Morse code might be a bit rusty, but from what I reckon, that's actually, oh, for goodness sake, it's a pain to turn off. Right, let's get the lights back on. That was a S O O S. Dot dot dot. Dash dash dash. Dash dash dash. Dot dot dot. Maybe I was kind that wrong. You tell me. What do you think it is? Or does it mean something else? There's six dashes. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter. Right, okay. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, it's an Indiegogo currently. And unfortunately, the. Indiegogo page is down, so I'll post the price in the show notes at the bottom. But it's uh, some of the pictures actually show the side here as transparent. Uh, however, this one is obviously a fogged white color, uh, and you can get the, the plastic here in, in various different colors. There's blue, I know that's definitely available, and this one's orange. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pass this on to my four year old and let him play in the garden and see what he fills it full of over the next week or so and then we'll uh, we'll stick a, a review up on the website so uh, check techaddicts.uk for all the latest things that we're doing hit the subscribe button turn on notifications if you fancy and if you like the video hit like and other than that take care